you may be wondering what an algorithm is. An algorithm is a set of instructions that can be followed to solve a problem. There are many different ways of representing an algorithm. We're going to have a look at a few of them now. One way of representing algorithms is a flowchart. Flowcharts use symbols to represent an algorithm in the form of a diagram. A number of standard symbols are used. This symbol is used to indicate the start or the end of an algorithm. This symbol is used to indicate a process, for example performing a calculation. The decision symbol is used when we need to control the path taken through an algorithm based on the result of a condition. And this symbol is used when data needs to be inputted or outputted. This is an example algorithm represented using a flowchart. It is designed to calculate the average or mean from a list of values. We start by setting the values of two variables. Think of variables as containers that can be used to store data for use later on in the algorithm. We have set the value of total to 0 and the value of item to 1. Next, a decision is used to check whether or not the value of item is less than or equal to the length of the list. Where the value of item is 1, and the length of the list is 4. This means we take the yes branch. The next step is to add the value of the current list item to the total. The value of the first item in the list is 5, so this is added to the total. After this, 1 is added to item and the algorithm loops back to the decision. This process is repeated until all values in the list have been added to the total. Now item is greater than the length of the list, we can take the no branch. The average is calculated by dividing the total by the length of the list. Finally, the result is outputted. Pseudocode is another way of designing an algorithm using a syntax that looks similar to a real programming language. There are no specific rules for writing pseudocode the important thing is to be consistent. Another method of representing an algorithm is to write a written description of what it needs to do in plain English. Algorithms can also be represented using structured English. It is laid out in a similar way to pseudocode. The main difference is it uses plain English to describe each step. 